to say I can't believe I'm standing here in front of you to say goodbye to my first love is an extreme understatement. Somehow it all still feels like a dream. To many he was Umduan, but to me he was my grandfather, who never forgot to give me a double cheek kiss and a little hug. Umduana was the epitome of respect, love, loyalty, kindness, and Ubuuntu, while always choosing to see the best in people, no matter the circumstances. My grandfather taught me selflessness and how to think about others before myself and to always stand for the truth, even if it makes you unpopular. I would not be the young woman I am today without him and his influence. I have never known a world without him. And his void will never be filled in my heart and my soul. To my mom, AKA Nana Gamasoso, thank you for loving my grandfather as much as you did. You looked after him, cared for him, protected him with everything you had. Thank you for keeping your promise to Idlumkul that you would look after him and make sure he never lacked or needed for anything at any time. Exodus chapter 20 verse 12 says, Honor your mother and father so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. And you taught me that repeatedly through your actions and love for Umduan. I know you've lost both your best friends, I can, and I can never take away the pain of losing both your parents, but I promise you to be your shield, your shoulder to cry on, your strength, your hope, and most importantly, your daughter. You and I and our family will continue Umdwana's legacy through the strength of our faith in God. And now, it is time for me to say my final goodbye to my hero. As I would say every night to you while you were in hospital. Good night, Dabazit. Usale no mus. Umtwana sezombonaksas. Sheng. His Excellency, the President, and all distinguished guests. And you found the Gumtwana in Tonipo, Obezela, Nenkonzo, Oktetelel. Mutwana, Obezonipa, and Sho Inga Ningan. Even Natabas, who Obezonipa, Nishasim Kosamela, Uzo, and Nessie Sheng. No matter what you are doing, you are messing up. At the same time, Umtwana was not like any other people that we know. He was, he was one of the kind. Ube no tando, no zuelo. Always mangali sai. Umtwana, ube si tando, na si sim tando. Gisho, ema chasa langa gana ngenga umsebenz. What I'm done to be says is, oh, she's cut so busy. As was Sala Nai, that's in Jerome Denwaki, Jenga Basu Bulu, so Kumbula Leo Haki Leo, no messes Abula La Pesh that's in, and sometimes Singa Basu Bulu with the Visigas Kulume, Messes Petilati, in Chebea can be Stabaganjan, then we laugh about it. Umtuana Umfundise, Uwe Saba Ukunuku. My grandfather, Ubene Kiniso, and Stella Futi Kiniso, Elimela Ikinis Mutuan. Regardless of the situation that he was in, Ubein Dodonga had him. Sheng, Sogalis, Yatogos and Ogunfundisa, Ugesaba Ugunukulu, Nogus Sundays are good Jesu, through your faith. Sheng, Siatoza, Angela Oskuli Sengayo, Siatoza, Nakobongo, who has sent the leg corner Iloko Nakobongo, who sent the leg corner, get to Buis Bonelis, Shenge, Sogukumbula, Songe, Sogukumbula Futi, so shares the Sibutanda, 
ubusungu esibuzwa njengoba umndeni abuchazeki nezi abuchazeki njengoba umndeni wakho inhliziyo ziyaqaqamba ziphlungu kodwa angeke ngize ngikhohle ukubonga uNkulunkulu ngesipho asiphe sona ngokubusisa ngeminyaka emingaka unazi kubazali bethu umntwana uphumzile umntwana maphikelela umntwana tsana ngithi phephisa nakini bokho bami nosi sibami ngithi phephisane nakuwonke nje umuntu omthintile umntwana ngempilo kubo bonke bebethi baba kuye ngesizwe sonke nozulu wonke okubalekile nje amanje sikumndeni ukuthi sibambane sonke sibheke kuNkulunkulu sithembe uJesu ngakho konke ngoba uyena konke onecebo ngempilo zethu she I stand before you today the member of a family in grief and a country in mourning we are all united not only in our desire to pay our respects to His Excellency, but, in, but rather in our need to do so. For such was His extraordinary appeal that the thousands of people taking part in this service via television, radio, and some who have never actually met Him feel that they too lost someone close to them in the early hours of Saturday morning. It is a more remarkable tribute to Umdwana that I can ever hope, hope, ever hope to offer him today. Prince Butelezi was the very essence of compassion, of spirituality, of style, of dedication. All over the world, he was a symbol of selfless humanity, a guardian of liberty, a very Zulu man who transcended nationality, someone with a natural nobility, who was classless and who proved over the years that he needed no royal title to continue to generate his particular kind of magic. Today is our chance to say thank you for the way you brightened our lives. Even though I spent the longest time with you, regardless of however long the time was spent with you, we will always feel cheated that you were taken. And yet we must learn to be grateful that you came along at all. We will always, only now that you are gone, do we truly appreciate what we are now without you. And we can only hope that life without you will be very difficult. We have all despaired at our lives over the past week, and only the strength of the message you gave us through your years of giving has afforded us to attempt to move forward. There is a temptation. There is a temptation to rush to immortalize your memory. There is no need to do so. You stand tall enough as a human of unique qualities, not needing to be seen as a saint. I appreciated the core of your being, your wonderful sense of humor, with the laugh that bit you double. Your joyful life transmitted where you took your smile and the sparkle in your unforgettable eyes, your boundless energy which you could barely contain. But your greatest gift was your intuition. It was a gift you used wisely. This is what underpinned all your, wonder, all your other wonderful attributes. And now we've come to another truth about you. For all the status, the fame, the applause, Umdona Wapindange remained throughout a very insecure person at heart, almost childlike in his desire to do good for others. The world sensed this part of his character and cherished him for his vulnerability whilst admiring for him for his honesty. Sheng. 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 Sogalisa. Sonbon and Nongkeng Abingalela. In memory of my dear grandfather, a prominent politician, a Zulu leader, a father, a grandfather, a great-grandfather. I want to acknowledge the relationship we shared. As a young child, he provided for my needs and served as a significant influence on my knowledge of my culture and becoming the artist I am today, rapping in Zulu. I remember him singing with me in the car and also encouraging me on my path after 
I had established myself as a musician. He would say I had the gift of music and foresight like his mom, Princess Makoko. After I lost my mother and father, he and my grandmother played an important role in filling the void. Singing for Grace Billy. Manj. But perhaps because I've experienced it first, I'll know how to be there for my family who now are let yet to learn what it feels like to be an orphan. Though time brought its share of differences, I appreciate the pivotal role he played in my life and the Zulu community at large. People, just like our bonds, are multifaceted and connections can be equally complex. I acknowledge the pain and hurt members of our community experienced during the turbulent years of the 80s, a period marked by violence and tragedy. My hope is that we can reflect on his legacy with a sense of nuance and understanding, acknowledging both the positive and challenging aspects of his life's work. I feel proud of the work he's done together with Nelson Mandela to liberate South Africa, bringing birth to a multicultural nation. Have their differences not been reconciled, we'd still be living in apartheid South Africa. In honoring his memory, I've committed to continuing my artistic journey, drawing inspiration from my Zulu heritage, while striving to create a positive impact in my own way. To my aunts and uncles, May you be blessed with the gift of unity. Unity is the only thing that will hold this family together. When I asked Mdwana as a young girl, what would you like to be written on your epitaph? He said to me, a man who lived by his convictions. Looking back now, I see why he said that. When a man is known to have no unsettled convictions of his own, he cannot convict other people. Ending this, I'd like to recite this poem. Don't stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I did not sleep. I am the thousand winds that blow. I am the glistening spark in the snow. I am the sunlight on ripened grain. I'm the sunlight on ripened grain. When you awaken in the morning hush, I am that swift, uplifting rush of quiet birds in circled flight. I am the soft stars that shine at night. So don't stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Sheng, Sheng, Sogalisa. His Excellency the President and all distinguished guests, many of you will be familiar with the great entomologist and historian David Rattray. He was held in high regard the world over as he told the stories of the Anglo Zulu War and our triumphs at Isandlwana with such beauty, dignity, and respect. He was loved by our grandfather for his contribution to Zulu culture and its preservation. When Mr. Rat with Mr. Rattray's passing in 2007, our grandfather said a spear had fallen in the Zulu nation. Umtuana always had a way with words. Sixteen years later, we echo them. A great tree has fallen in this proud Zulu nation. Mtwana loved his grandchildren beyond measure, and we loved him dearly too. He was a pillar not only of our family, but of the democratic dispensation we are all a part of today. Mtwana was a giver. That was his love language. He had an eye for gifts and was amazingly attuned to the taste of his loved ones. His grandchildren, in turn, were faced with the annual headache at Christmas time. What gift do you get for the man who has every possible thing? We soon learned, however, that more than any material thing, Umtuana valued time with his family. Nothing made him happier than to be with us, and of course to pass down his wisdom and knowledge at any given moment. We learned so much about the value of listening, patience, and respect, particularly for our elders and traditional customs, among other things. Renowned for his esteemed roles in so many different spaces, of equal renown was his sense of humor. 
in my teen years, when I would visit Kwapinangen, he would often say, please stand over there. You are being rude with this height of yours, grandson. That became the running joke every time I came home. In the past few days, it has been fitting that the prevailing memory I've had is of Umtwana laughing. Anyone close to him knows that boisterous, unmistakable laugh. You know, when someone is laughing from the pit of their stomach with such joy, and there are many enduring images of him laughing this way, further proof of his love and warmth. That is a side of him many of us were privileged to enjoy, and it is how most South Africans will remember him. I do not care to explore the altogether different image that a few people have cultivated about our grandfather. Enough has been said this past week to discredit their lives. Umtwana more than made his mark on our country and in politics through his tireless work in the public domain. As my father told the media this week, you can either perpetuate or destroy his legacy. But the truth remains, his legacy is the impact he had on people's lives. No attempt to discredit his work ever deterred him from his goal, which he pursued in tandem with other politicians, many of whom who are here today. The goal was always a free, fairly run, democratic South Africa. We as a family choose to remember him this way. As a fearless political leader, who was never afraid to go against the grain for the sake of serving millions of black South Africans at a time when hope was at an all-time low. As our regal Prime Minister of the Zulu Nation and Nkosi of the Putelezi clan, and last but not least, as our grandfather, father, and anchor of the family. Shenge, we salute you, we will always love you, and we will continue to keep your legacy enduring forever. May your soul rest in eternal peace. Shang! Shang! Sawalisa! Thank you very much to that moving tribute by the grandchildren.